Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Thank you very much for watching. Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it's uh, March 25th of 2022. Uh, I just woke up from a nap. If you're a follower of this uh, YouTube channel, you probably hear that all the time, and it's because uh, I never, I'm not able to, to go to bed and sleep like eight hours. Uh, never. I go to bed and I usually sleep like two hours and then get up and I'm up a while. And then later I'll go to sleep, sleep another two hours or three hours or something. And I think maybe three hours is anyway. So I just woke up. My uh, computer screen had a notice that there was an update to Windows 11 and uh, it when I told it to go ahead and you know uh, install boom it just did it really fast and apparently that's because really there isn't any real update to it well, I'm sure there's a little tiny something they've changed in there a little bit what they have done and what is in effect now is that uh, the Windows Development Channel, which is what I was signed up for, have been signed up for, and the beta channels are receiving the same bills. So this is an opportunity for you to switch if you wish to switch and think about it and uh, make your decision because what they've done and I guess what is standard is that when they get them in this position, these two channels, uh, if you want to go and make a change to a different channel, later you may not be able to or I think, I may not be correct on this, I think what you would have to do is, you know, format your computer and install another, so you don't want to get in that position. So now's the time to think about uh, what you want to do. And I had just the other day uh, changed from, let's see, which channel, I don't know. Which channel was I? Uh, was I on? I was on whatever channel. I think the uh, I was on whatever channel it is that you get things that you know you get updates, but you get things that Windows people are working on that they think may be part of Windows down the line from now, you know, months, next year or something. And I've been on that channel and in fact I was watching, I, I was watching uh, Twit TV Windows Weekly. I recommend that to you, by the way. Uh, and they were also saying, which I, you know, I already sort of knew this. But they were talking about this the other day, uh, I think in last week's episode for a little bit. And they really recommended that, you know, depending on who you are, you know, if you're a Windows developer or so working for some company and you have to have, you know, whatever. But for people like me and for people like you, uh, they don't, I, maybe I'm, I shouldn't be quoting them. You can go check, but 
but they recommend stay in the uh, you know when you can make the switch make the switch and you and you make it now before they switch their thing because they did that in the past and it messed up a bunch of people they did the same thing and in the past they opened up the channel for switching and uh, people didn't switch or did switch or whatever and it was a problem because uh, so anyway make think about it make your decision I recommend uh, just stay with the the basic channel you know the development or not the development whatever I guess I should read this hopefully it'll explain it but anyway, this thing just updated this, and this is the rollout information here. And that's today's date now. We are starting to roll out cumulative update build 22581. That's what this is. The update does not include anything new and is designed to test our servicing pipeline to build to bills in the development and the beta channels. And it says, hello, Windows Insiders. Today we are releasing Windows 11 Insiders build 22581 to the development and the beta channels. Bill 22581 is also being flighted uh, come on, to Windows Insiders in the beta channel. Now that the development and the beta channels are receiving the same bills, the limited window has opened, limited window has opened to allow insiders to switch channels if desired. Please read the details below about the limited windows to switch channels, which happens when the windows close. The time is now for you to make sure you're in the channel you want to go forward. Okay. Uh, anyway, I switched yesterday or day, you know, this they kicked this out today. But I switched to. Well, let's see. What in the hell channel am I in? Settings. Uh, where do I need to go? Uh, Windows update. Now I need to go to, uh, yeah, I guess I need to go to Windows. Okay. Check for updates. Uh, okay, well, okay, I'm gonna check for updates, but I just did that. You know, that's how I got this. But advanced option, Windows Insiders program. Okay, maybe that's what I need to click on here. Okay, it's checking for updates. Taking a long time is probably because I just downloaded this. I, you know, or really didn't download much, but uh, okay, you're up to date. Okay, let's see what if this tells me which build I'm. It's working a little bit slow. I'm, I think because everybody just they just kicked this out, so. <laughs> Probably how many people? Uh, choose your insider settings. Okay, beta. Okay, they recommend beta. Okay, so I'm in the beta. Ideal for early adopters, these Windows 11 builds will be more reliable than builds from our development channel with updated, uh, validated by Microsoft, your feedback has the greatest impact. Okay, they have two other channels. The development channel, which I'm not in now, I was. 
ideal for highly technical users. Be the first to access Windows 11 builds earliest in the development cycle with the newest code. There will be some rough edges and low stability. And so I recommend, you know, the beta channel, I guess, if you have to have something or else just take whatever the standard, you know, thing is. Just, I want new releases when they're released or something. Okay. Uh, so, back to this. Uh, today they released 22581, okay, you know, both channels. Okay, again, important. This window will close once we release bills with the higher build numbers to the development channel. If your device stays on the development channel and receives a bill that is a higher build number than what is in the beta channel, you will have to do a clean installation of the released versions of Windows 11 on your device to switch to the beta channel. I don't think you want to do that. You do not want to, you know. Okay. Um, now it says, I guess it said, you know, no new things or, you know, but it says here, changes and improvements. Okay. Taskbar. Okay. By the way, if you know how to, I'm not reading this now, anyway, I'll put the link, you know, to this like I do. So, I think these things may be, may, you may have to read it. I think these are things maybe that if you were in the other channel, you're getting these now so that we're, so they're equal, you know, whatever, but. I hate, and I haven't done a search, actually I have not done a search, I, and this is not new, this has been in Windows, and I don't know for how long, I don't know when it started, but I hate it, and that's when I click on a browser to drag it a little bit, or, or to my other monitor, or whatever it is, when I click on it, it goes full screen, they call, I forget what they call that, and I've got that turned off in the... Uh, 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 choices of things that you want. I've got that. What do they call that? Whatever they call it, they should call it. It's a bad word because uh, I hate it. It makes what I do difficult. I go to uh, drag a file over to uh, upload to YouTube or to call, you know drag it over to my other, or even when I was just using one monitor, to drag it over and drop it in uh, an editor. When I drag on, when, I, when it's one of these windows, and it doesn't matter apparently whether it's uh, Chrome or Edge or uh, Firefox, it doesn't matter. 99% of the time it goes full screen. And I start cussing and saying bad words. So if you happen to know what I can do to stop that, that must be a great option for people. But it's not for me. I don't like it at all. It causes me, it causes my blood pressure to go because I start cursing out Microsoft and Windows and everything else. So, uh... Someone, I just woke up, somebody left a message on uh, my a comment, I think on the last video that I made. Let me see if I can, uh, 
me minimize this over here and try to drag this over here. Right now it's not full screen and I really don't want it full screen but uh, I'm now going to click to drag it over. It went fucking out. Okay, I'll just drag it over and then try to, uh, okay, okay, now it went full. <laughs> okay, now it's doing something that's Okay, well, okay, I got it over. Let's see here. Let go. Okay. So I got this over. What did I come over here for? Oh, go to YouTube. Go to YouTube here. And go to, oh, I guess I need to go to email. That's where it turns up, I think. Oh, anyway, the person said, if I remember correctly, left a comment, that uh, he just installed the new build. I'm not sure which one that was. You know, He installed the new build, and now he can't upload or download in something else. You know, I don't think I'm probably going to be able to help him so if any of you are having problems with something like this, uh, you know, please. Okay, I think the comment would be in uh, here. Computer's loading slow. Is that because of... Uh, My volume control. Here. Whoops. Stop. Go down to comments. Okay, here it is. Okay, that person apparently left a comment on one of my other, I just woke up and quickly, you know, on one of my other, uh, let's see, wait a minute, maybe it is here. Okay, I don't know where he left that, uh, you know, comment. If you have any uh, suggestions, if you have any problems or whatever uh, like that, you might post a comment here someplace. But uh, there's probably much better do a search, you know, on Google for the, you know, that or some other place. Uh, is today Friday? Alexa, what day is it? It's Friday, March 25th. Okay. Uh, this week, this weekend, uh, this weekend, uh, the guy who owns Twit TV uh, does his Saturday and Sunday radio program live. And of course you can, it's also streamed, of course, on their site uh, this weekend live so but you can call in a number you could call in and ask him you know uh, by calling the uh, phone number hope that helps I'm going to end this now to uh, keep this short and uh, I'll check my email and see what's going on thank you very very much